Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome back to another episode of OMSI 2. Today we're in Berlin, which is, as uh, many of you will know, one of my favourite, favourite cities on the planet. I love Berlin. Uh, it, it's just a wonderful place. If you've not been and you're a transport enthusiast like myself, you should go. But we are looking at the Berlin Line 300 today with the new Solaris Beano 18 meter uh, electric bus. Uh, ihr könnt uns nicht reichen finden wir super. Well, exactly. You can't argue with uh, statements like that, can you? Uh, now, this is going to cost you £16.75 uh, for this DLC. You need to own OMSI beforehand. And, uh, yeah, it's I've, I've had a drive of this, and I like it. The reviews online are mixed. Uh, a lot of people saying that they're having quite a lot of problems with the map. So, uh, we're going to see how we get on today. Uh, right, there we go. We're holding E to, uh, to actually start the bus. Pop some lights on. It's, uh, it's getting to be the evening time. Uh, let's have a nosey. So we've got our ticket machine there. Any of you that have watched The Bus, uh, any of my The Bus videos, you will recognise this ticket machine. It's uh, it's quite a uh, quite a familiar sight, hopefully. Uh, I'm just going to move that on by five minutes. We're not going to be selling tickets today uh, because it's just too much like hard work. Uh, however, we're going to be having a look at this and, uh, and seeing how we get on. So let's just bob some lights on there. It's got the famous BBG maquette. Look at that. Oh, it's just gorgeous, isn't it? I love these buses. I never thought I'd say this of an electric bus. Uh, but yeah, these Solaris Urbinos really, really are nice vehicles. Uh, to travel on as a passenger, uh, I'm sure they're nice to drive. I mean, from this, this... This nice uh, cabin here that we've got is uh, is lovely. I mean, look at that. Everything's electric. It's all all buttons. You can just press them. You get a nice little nice little ping every time you do something. Uh, so there we go. We'll press start. Uh, bitter system card and Legan, which is there. Although I've not actually managed to suss out what you do with that. I mean, I've clicked it quite a few times in different places. Not really sussed it out, so it's a good job that we're uh, that we're not selling tickets, isn't it? That's why we're not selling tickets. Uh, now we're going to put 300 in the destination. I'm going to cheat. Uh, I tell you what, let's let's have a look. Oh no, I don't think we we don't do it up there, do we? We do it via the ticket machine. So if the ticket machine's not working, I'm going to have to cheat and use the, uh, the the 92E menu. There we go. So we are Project E Metrobus. We're going to Tiergarten Philharmonie. I reckon that we're just about ready to go, don't you? Right, off we go. Handbrake off. Nice and quiet. This is, of course, an electric bus, so it might be quite quiet. Uh, right, hang on. So we drive into here. We need to do a U-turn. Rather annoyingly, uh, when I installed this DLC, it, uh, it deleted all my OMSI settings, so I've had to go back through and, uh, and sort of try fix them. I find this is the hardest bit, turning round in here without... Uh, Without destroying your bus. Right, there we go. Straight out. Now, I'm going to ask for the directions so that I know which stops we stop at. Because although I have a fairly good idea where this route goes, uh, we don't stop at every single stop. Nice little gentle ticker there. Listen to that. Right, off we go. So, we've got half a minute. Everybody on. Come on. Hello. Guten Tag. I don't know what German is for all aboard, but, uh, but there we go. We're going to leave half a minute early, good lot, or 0.3 minutes early, because I found it, when I drove this the first time, I found it really difficult to keep to time. I was uh, flying it. Oh no, look at the cones all spawning in. You see, I used to have the visibility further away so that that, that spawning in wouldn't happen. That's very bus simulator 21, isn't it? However, I do have the, uh, the map complexity turned right up, so we should get all the options... Uh, all the options, all the objects in the map here. Hopefully we should see quite a bit of uh, AI traffic as well, I'm, I'm hoping. I mean, to be fair, people were complaining that, um, that there was a lot of performance issues. This seems pretty alright, to be fair. We're not in the middle of the map, though. We're not in the, uh, in the busy section. Right, there we go. I think it's because I don't drive as much like a lunatic as, uh, as the Berlin bus driver. They fly around. Oh, it's cold. Well, I mean, it is February, love. So it's entirely plausible that it's cold. Righty-o. We'll, uh, we'll head round to the right. This is, of course, the, uh, the East Side Gallery. Part of the Berlin Wall you can see in front of us there. It's got all nice art down it. Right, round we go. Full steam ahead. 
yeah, lots of nice art down this side. There's the the famous one of the uh, the, the two blokes, uh, Gorbachev and, and the other bloke whose name I forget. Uh, the the very famous one of them kissing. I think it was a bit of a uh, bit of a Mickey tape, really. Who on earth is drilling outside? For goodness' sake! Very selfish of them. That was me hitting the steering wheel with me. It flipping it. Yeah, you, you try and record a video and people decide to drill at this ungodly hour. It's five o'clock in the afternoon, for goodness sake. Shouldn't you all have homes to go to? Dear me. Right, okie dokie. So, we're uh, we're actually doing better for time today. Maybe I just got a bit of a, uh, a rubbish shift. I think I was driving a, a Saturday timetable last time. Whoa, there we go. Right, everybody on. They'll only board through the front door, which is uh, a little bit Hello. unrealistic because, uh, of course, these buses now, you can board through all of the doors. Even though, I think they're new with the no entry signs. Yeah, they had the no entry signs, but because of COVID, that you can just board through any of them now. Right, I think that I need to, uh, do I need to, yeah, I would like to reverse, but there is someone parked right up my chuffer. Oh, look, there's another 300 going the other way. Uh, I think probably for frame rates, uh, these buses aren't used as the AI, so you get quite a nice little detailed uh, bus there. Right, there we go. Yeah, yeah, we get a lovely detailed bus to drive, but all the AI is, uh, is Citaro C2s, by the look of things. There's a Cetra coach over there you can make out. Right, off we go. Look at that. Bang on time. Right, full steam ahead. I think that this on the right there is for uh, for people turning right, so we're just going to whiz past all of this. Oh no! Oh, we can't commit through that, can we? Especially not when the bloke in front stopped. Whoa, there we go. And brake on. I don't actually know how long the route is. I, I did it before. Is it, is it 40 minutes? Let's have a look. So we're leaving Warsaw Strasse at 16.56, and it takes us until uh, Philharmony Sud. 17.34, so yeah, it's about 40 minutes in length. And uh, and you go through all the nice places, you go through almost Alexanderplatz. Uh, well, you do there, Alexanderplatz, uh, the Rotus Rathaus, Museum Insel, uh, and of course through Potsdamer Platz. Lots of, uh, lots of touristy areas there. This is through the heart of Berlin, and it's modern Berlin as well. You go the, uh, you sort of do the east to west, sort of. No, you, you're very much in the east for most of this, but uh, but you know what I mean. Uh, of course, the original Berlin for OMSI was set uh, very much, well, it was set a long time ago, wasn't it? Uh, and, of course, part of it was when the wall was still up, when the Berlin Wall was still up. And, of course, the X10, you can have that one, uh, but that's very much in the west. So this is one of the only routes, really, where we're in the east of Berlin. It uh, really, really is nice to see. It's lovely to see, actually, you know, it's... Uh, as I say, it's a lovely city, and it's really, really nice. When you recognise areas as well, when you can, uh, you recognise them in game. It's, it's lovely. Right here we go. Let's uh, let's make sure we stop properly. Everybody on. Guten Tag. Hello. Right, off we go. Indicate left. Full steam ahead. Really, it's quite slow off the mark. This thing. So far, so good, you know. I'm not getting any performance hits whatsoever. There's the odd stutter every now and then, but I mean, that is OMSI. Let's not forget that OMSI is OMSI, isn't it? And that never changes. Right, okay. So we're going left. This is Ostbahnhof. This is uh, where I very first stayed in Berlin. There's a nice little hotel we'll go past. I've probably pointed it out to you in the bus. Whoa, that's a, uh, that's a hell of a, uh, an incline there. Not quite that extreme in real life. Oh, somebody to get off. So these doors all work on the uh, on the automatic open and shut system. I just have to energise them. Hello. Hello. Good talk. Hello. This is of course Ostbahnhof. We've I mean all of this. We've done the 300 on the bus, so you can compare. I mean to be honest, ladies and gentlemen, uh, it's not going to trump the bus, is it, in terms of how it looks, because the bus is a very, very pretty game, a very pretty game indeed. Uh, however, the driving physics are better than the bus, OMSI is 
the best bus simulator. And I say this, and people, oh, well, how can it be the best bus simulator? It's not pretty. In terms of someone, you know, I, I drive buses. I drive my own buses. I don't do it as a profession, but uh, I do have my license and I drive buses. And I can categorically say that to this day, this is still the best bus simulator in terms of the physics, how it actually feels to drive a bus. This is the best. How it behaves, it's hands down the best bus simulator. All right, it's not as, whoa, 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 sweet child of mine. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's very much not uh, the prettiest anymore. It's not, you know, it, it, it's not the prettiest. But uh, yeah, it's, it's definitely, definitely the best. If you want to actually feel like you're driving a bus, OMSI is the, uh, the simulator for you. That's why we always say the next OMSI, because we want, we want the best of both worlds, don't we, everybody? We want the, uh, that's why I'm quite excited for Simbus, because obviously it's made by the people who made Simrail, and Simrail was awesome, so I'm really excited for Simbus. The hotel in front there on the, on the right-hand side, this, this peach-coloured building, the, uh, the Ibis in Berlin, that was the first hotel I stayed at. Uh, been there many a times with uh, my, my good friend who sadly passed away in 2020. Uh, but uh, yeah, so we, we go there every year. It was shut this year when we went. And we always stay there because, you know, happy memories and all that. But uh, it was actually the same hotel that, not this December, just gone, December 2022, my, uh, my other half actually proposed in that hotel. So, you know, it just keeps getting more and more special. So yeah, if you want to go to a Joe recommended hotel, I mean, it's not really anything special, it's just an Ibis, but uh, yeah, it holds a lot of nice memories for me, and, uh, and it's a really nice hotel. Basic, but you know, when you explore in the city and you're not in your hotel much, what more do you really need? Whizzing down here now, the BVG offices on the left, if we've not already gone past them, nope, they're there, look, you can just see the, uh, the big, big uh, BVG sign there. We're getting a bit of, uh, getting a bit of movement, lovely. Look at that. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm honestly not sure what other people have experienced. I mean, I didn't get this for free. Uh, that I paid for this with my own money, so I'm not being nice to it because, oh, well, they gave it me for free, so I'd better be nice. Not the case. I have paid uh, money. money. I'd seen they'd given some other people it for free. They, they neglected to give me it. Rude. Rude, 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 rude. But uh, Celebi. It's one of those things, and to be fair, I've been whizzing up and down on it. I, I think it's decent. I don't mind paying for it, but uh, yeah, the, reading the reviews, there were a lot of unhappy people. I, I find that quite sad. I, I don't know what's happened on their systems. I mean, okay, you could argue, Joe, you're running a i9 with a, you know, a, a, another with a 4090, but OMSI doesn't seem to always respond to the equipment you have on your PC. It's a very, very sort of weird game. Because it's only 32-bit, of course. It gets to the point where the better hardware doesn't necessarily translate to better performance. Oh, hang on. Right, these things have just spawned in, so we better just... Yeah, you see, we do get a little bit of stuttering, but that is to be expected with this game. I think if you go into... You know, if you're a new OMSI player, and you're, you're setting off for a lag-free experience, you are going to be disappointed. There's no, There's no sort of ifs or buts about that. See, there's things like the bus is just randomly levelling itself here. You know, the, the little things like that that a lot of the other games you don't have. Uh, bus Simulator 21, I mean, we can sort of drop that out the window, drop it down the drain uh, in terms of, is it a good bus simulator? It's alright, it's an alright little game. Alright, full of bugs. You know I'm not a fan of it, to be honest with you, but if you want like a bit of a storyline, yeah, it's not that bad. Uh, the bus is the closest competition at this time to this game in terms of uh, in terms of the handling uh, but as I say it's just there's just little things you know li little little things that this has which the bus still hasn't quite mastered and I wish it would I'd, I really do wish it would because as I say it would be nice to have a, a game with really good physics that could I have a feeling he's trying to pull in there and you're not gonna I'm gonna bully my way through this is Janowitz Brucker Should be a uh, should be a, an S bahn station just there, or maybe it's maybe it's behind. Hello. Right, off we go. I like the little details, like the bikes. You'll also notice the electric scooters. 
that are uh, sort of dotted about. There's a couple there. You'll also notice at some points in the map you'll see them on their sides where people have just abandoned them. Uh, which is very... Oh, there you go. There was one on the right just there. Uh, very true to life in Berlin. I think there's another one just here. Yeah, very, very true to life in Berlin. I also like the fact that we're in the east side of the city, so there's a lot of a lot of the buildings are uh, they're, they're very sort of tower blocky. Um, you you notice a massive difference with Berlin with the east and the west in terms of the architecture. The east has a lot more tower blocks. Uh, it's uh, oh, there's nobody getting on here. We'll uh, we'll carry on through even though we're too early. See, it wasn't like this last time. God, when I drove it last time, we couldn't keep time at all. Right, we'll, uh, we'll we'll just nip into this lane. There we go. Oh, that's not good. I've just skipped ahead two minutes while trying to drive. That's why that bus disappeared. That was uh, that was my doing. It's not the fault of the game, is that? That's the fault of the Joe. Coming into Alexanderplatz now, you can see the, the Saturn, absolutely massive store, everything electrical you could possibly want. If you're ever in Berlin and see the Saturn store, and you are a computer lover, or indeed technology in general, it's not all about computers. Uh, you can buy Hoovers, you can buy, well, I mean, you can't really buy them while you're on holiday. Dishwashers, compute, everything computers you could possibly need. Tellies, it is the most impressive shop that I have ever been in in my life. Uh, it's like the sort of John Lewis of electricals. Certainly makes PC World look like it needs to up its game. You've got this uh, big fancy hotel whose name escapes me at this time, the Galleria, and you've got Alexander Platz just here. Oh, you can see the uh, the entrance to the U-Bahn station. Bit of scaffolding and skips up. Look at that. Right, someone's parked in our uh, in our bus stop, so we're just going to nip round. Got the uh, oh, hang on, we're having a bit of a moment there. Having quite a lot of a moment. Wait, there we go. Are we, are we not getting on? I mean, you're more than welcome to. Nope. Well, we offered. You know I don't spoon feed them at, uh, at this game. Right, carrying on now. As, uh, there's a hell of a lot of work going on around here. Oh, we're going to need to just nip in, aren't we? Let's, uh, ooh, lot of lag around here, good lord. Got on the right, Netto. You can actually see the top of the Rotosarat house there, the Red Town Hall. You'll also notice my pretty sky is gone as well. For some reason, like I said, I don't know why it did it. It's so annoying. Um, yeah, when I bought this, it did like a um, you know when you verify the integrity of the game cache and or cache catch cache. You know what I mean. Verify the integrity of the game. Um, yeah, it, it erased all my settings. It's got rid of all my nice little mods like the Sky mod and everything to make it look pretty. It's Oh, it's so annoying, this game, I tell you. I'm sure sometimes it was designed to uh, to, to raise blood pressure, Romsey. Right, off we go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to position myself in the middle of these two lanes. This is a tactical drive here, because I find, I don't know if it's just the map, if it's better in real life, but I always find when you turn right here, these cars try and undertake you on the on there, and you're obviously trying to get a bus around quite a narrow space. So I'm going to be, I'm going to use the road as my, uh, my bus driving instructor told me to do. You know, just take up the road, it's okay to do that. Look at that, we, uh, we got round the corner. Whoa, there's, uh, yeah, there's a bit of lag. It wasn't this bad last time I drove it. However, since last time, I have actually upgraded, or updated, sorry, so that it, it loads more objects in. So that it looks prettier. We like prettiness. Pretty is good. This is the bottom of, uh, of Alexander Platz here. You'll actually, if you've watched The Bus... You'll remember a lot of this because uh, it's very much the same. There you go. So, you can see Alexander Platz just down there. The big TV tower if we fall through the bottom of the world. There you go. 
Very, very posh, very posh. I've never been up here. I think what we're going to do is, while we're here, because we've got a bit of time, we're going to take a nice little, nice little shot. Look at that. Lovely. Right, let's get them directions on again before I forget where I'm going. Yeah, there are there are quite a few textures that unload, aren't there? I mean, look, my the, the screen on my bus has disappeared. What's happening there? Are we are we going to bring that back? Because I can't actually see how fast I'm going. What's happening with the shadows as well? It's uh, it's very bright, isn't it? Texture over here is gone. This is not good. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, very laggy. Very, very laggy. What on earth is going on here? So I do have the 4 gigabyte patch as well, which... Although, to be fair, I say I've got the 4 gigabyte patch. If it's uh, if it's verified the integrity of the game... Cache, eh? Cache. It's, uh, yeah, it might have removed the 4 gigabyte patch, which would be really annoying if it has. But no, it can't have done, because last time everything was fine. Why is my, uh, why is my throttle stopped working? There we go. And at least we can see if we need to stop, at least, so we'll, we'll just carry on. Right, there we go. Tell you what, we'll stop at Museum Insel. 2.5 minutes ahead, so what we'll do is we'll we'll fling the doors open there. <laughs> what on earth that? There we go, we'll skip ahead by two minutes. Right, we're gonna go outside. There we go. Right, we'll just whiz round here. No, still gone again. Right, hang on. Let's, uh, right, hang on. Omsi 2, reload textures. Only fix for blank textures is to reload the game. Good lord. Reload the game? Oh, that's no good. Ah, we're not actually that far from the end of the route now, as far as I'm aware, so uh, so we shall persevere. We'll persevere. I can't believe it's done this. Well, at least, do you know what? No, this, this, I always try and review products honestly so that uh, so that you as the consumer can make an informed choice so do you know what we'll have to roll with it this is what the product is like this is what has happened to the omsi i mean it might be the fault of the fact that it might have got rid of the four gigabyte patch i'll have to uh, you see the cars are turning white as well uh, yeah it might be the fact that when it's installed it's got rid of the four gigabyte patch that might be the case and if it is then obviously it shows the importance of the 4 gigabyte patch. So I tell you what I'll do is now that we've finished with when we've finished with this room, I might reload it with the same settings driving the other way with another 4 gig patch. How's that? And uh, and then we can see if it makes the difference. I mean to be fair, it was all my fault, wasn't it? If uh, if I hadn't gone outside to take that lovely pretty photo. See again, there's loads of really nice buildings here that you're not seeing. You'll have seen them on the bus car textures. This is awful. Why is it so bad? You're not turning across in front of me. This is my right of way sunshine and I'm uh, I'm claiming it. Go on, load in and, and load my white screen back in, please. I mean, in terms of the physics and the, you know, the, the modelling, everything else is absolutely spot on. I love it. The actual area of Berlin we're in, the buildings are all true to life. Really, really, really good. It's just such a shame. Oh, we're at Unterdain Linden on the U5. You see the uh, the U5's in the middle there. It's actually underground. It follows us down to the Brandenburg Gate now. Hello. That's one thing that is really annoying because the bus doesn't do this. Hello. The Hello. bus behaves itself. Right, round we go. Right, we're nipping over here. Yeah, lovely. See, all this shouldn't be... We'll have to pretend it's snowing. Right, so we're going round. These are always weird junctions. You uh, you sort of go round 
in the middle there. There we go. So we'll go right around like that. Lovely. Flix bus. That's not. It's chick bus. Another white car. Covered in snow. That's what we'll have to go with. It's because these are electric buses, you see. We can't afford to have the heated on and actually go it. It'll deplete the range too much. We do also have the pantographs on the roof. I don't know if they work. If there's a, a button we can press to, to do that. Right, here we go. So we're going to turn right and head up towards Potsdamer Platz now. Where's he going? Oh, there's a... Uh, what's that down there? Is that some sort of sightseeing bus? Ah, it is. Lovely. Little Cetra. I say little Cetra. It's absolutely flipping enormous. How many have we got on? Quite a few. God, busy, busy bus this, isn't it? Come on, get going. We want to get there. It's a timetable, not a calendar. Well, now we're coming up to these red traffic lights. I feel uh, I feel harsh for beeping. You know what, Joe? Don't feel harsh. They had it coming to them. Come on. There we go. I think it's, is it two lanes down here? Oh no, right, yes it is. There we go. God, the, uh, he doesn't want to be anywhere this evening, does he? Oh, we're going left here, right, okay. Just nip past him. We're going to cut across in front of these cars. It's such a naughty thing to do, isn't it? But, uh, but there's nobody coming here, apart from this chap. Oh no, Joe, don't cut the corner. End up with a with a Tiguan in his side, which luckily from the mirrors, you could see we uh, we didn't have. Then we managed to avoid it. I've noticed as well, all three doors don't tend to open unless you're at the terminus. I don't know if that's a uh, a bug with it or what. Full steam ahead. Gonna get through here, look at that. Through these green lights. No messing about. Another you see another building on the left there. Uh where are we now? Murenstrasse, I believe that's on the U2. Obviously, we can't see the building. Oh, this game. <laughs> as much as I think this is the best bus simulator, it is also the most infuriating bus simulator of them all. And any seasoned OMSI player will tell you that. It's, oh, it's just always out to wreck your days, OMSI. Flipping it. Oh, there we go. All three doors opened. I, uh, I hastily uh, retract my previous words. Right, nobody in the left hand mirror. Whoa, hang on. I've, uh, one, two, three. I'm leaving early, people. I'm leaving early. Right, there we go. Leaving on time again. Still not rebooted the, uh, the, the screens there. We could actually just put it down to, because it's an electronic dashboard. It could be an electronic dashboard error. That could be it, couldn't it? That could be it. You know, we've just encountered an error in service. And because we really care about our passengers, we, we want to keep them moving. Oh, 
Potsdamer Platz hasn't loaded in front. Flipping heck. It uh, looks like we're driving into a snowstorm, doesn't it? It'll be a bit of lag here because there's a lot of buildings at Potsdamer Platz. Also see the Berlin Mall uh, coming up on the right hand side. There's, uh, there's loads of umbrellas down there at Christmas. No, sorry. There's, uh, there's Christmas decorations down there at Christmas. There's umbrellas at other times of years. There's lots of colourful umbrellas floating in the air. It's, it's lovely. Lovely. No AI trams as well from what I've seen, which is a bit of a shame. The, the trams really do play a big part in the, uh, in the Berlin public transport network, particularly around Alexanderplatz and, of course, Potsdamer Platz. Hang on, Potsdamer Platz, that doesn't have trams. Oh, they just end there. They're all tram lines. Right, okay. Ignore me. I'm going to say, just as I said it then, I'm like, they don't have trams. That tram line will have ended there, probably because the wall came through here, which is why there were no buildings, hence now. There's so many modern buildings, because well, they've had a blank canvas, haven't they, round here? Of which to uh, to do what they wish. You can see the Sony Centre there behind, in uh, just plain white. Such a shame. Such a, such a shame. The Deutsche Bahn Tower in front. In terms of the AI traffic, that was another thing people had said. AI is ruining it for me. The, the AI, I, I think, is absolutely fine. I've not had an issue with the AI. It's, uh, I'm pretty sure... I mean, even the lag, we've, you know, for OMSI, we've really not struggled with the lag. I think that if I get that 4GB patch, this will work fine. In fact, you watch, it will. It'll make a mockery of the whole thing. And then you'll ask, well, why did it take it off? I have no idea. <laughs> Never asked it to uninstall. Hell, bus is going to fall apart in a minute. Right, we're going. People to get off. Now, this woman was waiting at this stop last time with the pram. I don't think she actually wants to get on the bus. I think it's just decorative, as, uh, as the lady with the pram. Hello. Because I was thinking, oh, wouldn't that be exciting if the uh, if the they simulated? Oh, we've committed. Yeah, we we really hadn't committed there, have we? But but they don't need to know. Um, oh wow, look, there is a Solaris AI Solaris Metro bus there. That that's good. Good news all round there. Yeah, I thought they'd managed to, like, you know how, um, who was it that did the Hamburg? They got cyclists in, didn't they? They had uh, them riding up and down. I thought, oh, if they've actually made it, because obviously the, uh, if you open the, the middle bit, you can, you can you know, all these buttons are interactive here. If uh, a passenger in a wheelchair wants to get off, that'll light up. It's uh, it's quite useful. You've, you've got the kneeling, the, the unkneeling, as it were. Um, you know, so you've got all these useful little things that are interactive on here. Ah, that's if, if there's uh, people crossing. Useful. Oh, fire engine. Yeah, there's, there's, so there is a lot of really, really nice features with this bus and with this DLC. So I got really excited thinking, oh, the pram will have to get on. We'll have to extend the ramp. It'll be, uh, it'll be really useful and fun. But uh, sadly not the case. Right, well, that is where we're going to finish today, ladies and gents. Philharmonie. Uh, there's a nice, lovely building here and a collapsed scooter. We'll, uh, we'll just pull in on the right there. Let's just make sure we're not... Up the curb, lovely. Right, everybody off. We'll open the front door as well so they can all get off there. There we go. Right, the front door as well. I don't think they will get off at the front, to be honest with you. But, uh, yeah, they're all disappearing into thin air. But, uh, yeah, let me know what you think to that. I'm really quite disappointed with the fact it's behaved like that. So, uh, yeah, we'll have to give it another go. Um, if you have enjoyed today's video, albeit you might not have enjoyed the DLC, but if you enjoyed my my uh, take on things anyway, let me know in the comments. Do leave a like. That would be lovely, wouldn't it? That'd be so nice. And uh, if you have enjoyed this video you want to see more bus simulation, be it OMSI, The Bus, or Bus Simulator 21, do, of course, subscribe. Subscribe so you never miss out. Other than that, thank you so, so much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you all next time. Cheerio! Goodbye for now.